Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be focusing on what are we doing when we get dupe players. So for example, let's just pretend we got a dupe uh, gold common or gold rare. What I'm doing is we're throwing them right in the 78 plus and we're just rinsing that. Whenever we get a dupe from the 78 plus, so if we go in here right now, I have a predetermined dupe that I actually need to deal with, a Senzio. Then what I'm doing with those dupes is I'm taking it and I'm looking to complete player SPCs that could be in my team for a while. So this Kessie uh, is one of my favorite cards that we have out as an SPC right now. Because this card is going to get upgraded. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see how long that takes. But it definitely, definitely, definitely is going to get upgraded. It's already a good card. It can be in your lineup right now. Um, some other ones you can look at doing is Tiago Silva. Uh, it is quite of expensive though. Same thing with Rashford. I like that card, but it's expensive. The duos, I'm not the biggest fan of, um, but you could do them if you're a fan of that league. Same thing with, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, not a fan of that SBC. Valverde, I think he's overpriced, but it's up to you. And then Gakpo for sure. Uh, this card looks crazy. That's going to be my number two, but we're time sensitive right now on some of these. So Kessie. We don't have a lot of time, so that's what we're doing it. And I've already pre-built the squad too. So how we do it here is this might break the game. Nope, we're good because I have it in other squads that I'm not using. Some of those fodder items. Um, and that's going to allow us to bring this in. And we're just getting more packs. We're building up the club. We're building up our players. We'll go ahead and open the players pack first. And as you can see, we get a whole lot of nothing. Not even boards in that one. So I'm not going to wait around to see the ending. Uh, but as you can see, oh, there's a tradable pack. I didn't even notice there was a tradable pack. Might see what else was in there then. I'm going to have to rewatch it to see. And then we got the 78 plus, And if we end up getting an untradable dupe, every time it goes to the left, it throws me for a loop. And that is a dupe right there. So what are we going to do with that dupe again? Uh, the exact same thing we just did a second ago. Um, we're going to look to see if we can complete an SPC first. So it's only an 83, but we do need an 86. So at that point in that SPC, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to throw them in here. Because um, I don't have a lot of high-rated fodder, so I don't want to just go ahead and waste all of my high-rated fodder right now. Especially when I don't need to burn it this quick. Like, I don't need Kessie and my team to be playing later. Um, I would type was Duke Soria, that's what it was. And just a nice, easy way to be efficient here as time goes on. I am running out of commons, but I do have uh, tradable commons. But I'm trying to flex a few uh, more of my untradables uh, that are low-rated gold rares since we haven't had anything requiring rares yet this year. Um, and hopefully we'll open one more pack here for you. If we get another dupe, I am just going to end it there because you already saw the process of how we're handling it, things like that. But just get on this little pack grind. You can... Oof, that's a tough one to to have be pulled there. And it ends up being a dupe, of course. Um, but we're going to deal with that on our own time. But this is a nice little way you can build up your club, complete some SBCs, and have a little bit of fun along the way. Or just do it when you get a dupe from objectives. But thanks for watching. Peace.